Good morning, Pisces. I hope that you are doing amazing. Welcome to your reading. We're going to be getting into the energy, what you need to be aware of at this time. Pisces, this may not resonate, okay, depending on your story or what you're going through right now. This could be predictive as well, so bear that in mind. Um, check out your other readings if this does not resonate. Check back next time as well, okay. If you feel drawn to click on a reading, if it isn't, even if it isn't your sign as such, okay, check out your birth chart, do your research, read, okay. I'll always encourage people to read inform yourself arm yourself with information and um, click on what you feel drawn to click on okay because you may find that other signs um resonate with you as well okay or it builds up more of a picture of what you could be expecting what you could be going through at this time um, I could be picking up on your energy, Pisces. I could be picking up on the energy of somebody in your energy. Please take it as it resonates. Please flip the rolls, shuffle your feet where you need to go. And without further ado, Pisces, thank you so much for being here. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to the channel. I very, very much appreciate you. Words cannot even explain how appreciative I am of you your love and your support so thank you very much please like the video share the video if you feel inclined to do so um subscribe to the channel and let's get into this pisces if you have booked a personal reading with me okay black butterfly diamonds tarot at gmail.com is where you can contact me for personal readings please get in touch okay I am open for personal readings. If you have already booked with me, I have done all of the readings, personal readings, private readings for this week. Please check your emails, check your junk folder as well. I have given everybody their links to their readings. Thank you so much for choosing me. Okay, let's get right into this. Let's take a look. Messages for Pisces, please and thank you. What does Pisces need to know? Happy Thursday, Pisces. Guarded and vulnerability. Okay. We have facade and beliefs. If somebody is somebody playing the victim, Pisces. Somebody could be fronting that they're, you know, they're they're the sheep or they're very kind of meek and mild. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> this could be somebody that you're dealing with. Let's see, what is this? Awakening, remember, spy, watching, inspecting, in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's your energy. You could be dealing with another Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Receive, open. What is that? Balance, karma justice okay tell me about this guarded and vulnerability bear with me pisces let's take a look at what that is there this um facade energy this playing the victim someone's playing the victim here who is this unexpected and storm okay tower energy some of you could be dealing with a scorpio and we have wish and fulfillment in the reverse yeah one more for that action courage beginnings okay um bottom of the deck we've got growth and summer okay the summertime coming up could be very significant okay we are going to be getting into the summer season um in a couple of months time Pisces, I feel like you are losing interest in something. You could have been very caught up on watching somebody, being invested in what somebody may have had going on, you know, up on their social media. I am reading this as you. You can flip the roles. This could be vice versa. Take it as it resonates. But I'm going to read it as I see it. You could be kind of letting go of being so caught up on what somebody is doing. You could have had some sort of infatuation with a person. Maybe you was very invested in what they had going on up on their social media, or, you know, watching posts, watching whatever, if they post stories, you know, if they do it for the gram, you know, all of that stuff. 
Um, there could be something about you moving away from that as well. Some of you could be taking a break from social media. Maybe you're not kind of um, out here too much. You're kind of, you know, moving under the radar a little bit, Pisces. You could be moving a bit low key. This could be due to some sort of awakening, some sort of realignment that's happening in your energy. Maybe you are feeling as though kind of keeping in touch with what could be going on in the outer world i.e. social media, maybe you feel like it's convoluting you somehow, or it could be interrupting or causing a, dis a distraction. So there could be something about some sort of social media detox that's going on in your energy in order to kind of cleanse your energy. And I feel like that is serving you. That could be advice to do that as well. Okay, take it as it resonates. If you're heavy on social media, no judgment. I used to do the scrolling, the looking, the whatever, you know, you know, catch up on whatever's going on. Um, and then what I did was, this is not about me, but just to give you an example, I used to kind of scroll, you see people's lives, what they've got going on, whatnot, you know, you like their pictures, whatnot. And then what I did was I kind of like, um, I kind of like um, demoted, if you like, mentally from social media, where I had like a healthy living page, and I was just doing my diet and my thing. And I started to only follow people and ingest things that were beneficial to my life, you know, affirmation pages, quotes, you know, things that talk about feelings, you know, healing, that type of thing, healthy living, fitness, recipes, things that were going to be beneficial to my existence, things that was going to help my mind, body and spirit. And then now I'm kind of like, I've kind of fell off, admittedly, those who know me, um, they probably wonder where I am. I'm right here doing tarot hello um so those of you that that know me okay personally i know a couple of people do watch my channel that i know personally hi guys Mwah. um it's like i have demoted myself completely from social media now and a lot of the reason as to why it's not to say i will never go back on social media um but i like it here i like it here um you don't have disturbances you know you're not always kind of like you got to be very careful what you ingest, what you watch, what you hear, what you view, what you it's it's it has it, it has an effect. You know, the bottom line that I'm trying to get at, you know, and I feel like this could be relevant. Hence the reason why I'm bringing this up. Um, make sure that you are only exposing yourself to what is going to be beneficial to your life your purpose, you know, your healing, by all means, if you like to, you know, check in with celebrities, see what they're up to, see what other people's lives and what they've got going on, that's amazing, that's great, that's fantastic, but there's a certain element of you being, um, cutting out distractions and really homing in on what is going to be good for you, okay, there's a reason why that came out, um, I don't, I don't think I've ever said this on this channel before, but that's my stance on social media, okay, um, I'm on here now, um, and I don't tend to really view stories, I don't tend to, like, follow, go on social media anymore, my accounts are not really active, um, and it's done me well, you know, mentally it's done me well, um, it's, it's caused me to focus on the reality, okay, and my thing is, is that I'm very kind of tunnel vision when I do things, so when I'm focused, I don't like distractions, and a big part of a distraction, which I find now, is social media, because you're always kind of looking over at that, or you're looking over at that, or you're looking over, you know, I very much stay in my own world, okay, and I feel like it's beneficial for me, okay, there's something about that here, you not spying on somebody, you could be cutting your hours on social media or your scrolling time or whatever that is, okay, and we live in a world where a phone is always at hand, we, we, we move around everywhere and we have social media at our fingertips, you know, and it could be something to consider for you, with karma, balance and justice, I feel like there's something that's coming into balance um, with you letting go of being so caught up on what somebody else is doing. There's something about that, Pisces. Um, with the spy card in the reverse, there's definitely someone who you're not as invested in, okay? Maybe you've stopped following this person. Maybe you don't watch them as much. You know, maybe if you were kind of like on on their social media twice a day, maybe now you only do it every couple of days, you know? Take it as it resonates. But with karma and balance, this could be a Libra, doesn't have to be though. Um, there's something about things coming into balance for you because you're doing that with that specific person. And wider than that, it could be worth thinking about. If you haven't done already, 
um, cutting your social media time to avoid distractions, you know, because I feel like there's something here about you being open to receive the new, okay? I feel like you're dealing with somebody, okay, moving on from that, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is playing the victim, I don't know who this is right now, um, this person could like to cry wolf, the boy who cried wolf, I've told my son that story a lot of times, okay, you know, that story of, you know, when you need, um, if you, if you only call for help, if you genuinely need help, my son one time, you know, he made a big noise and I ran in like, what was going, what's going on? What happened? Are you hurt? What happened? And then it was just like, haha, I was just joking. And then I had to kind of explain to him, well, if you're really hurt and I'm in another part of the house and I hear a big noise like that, my first thought might be now, because you've done this, um, he's just joking. It's not as serious. And then I might not come to help you. Okay. Something like that. And I went into a whole story. I made him watch the whole video about the boy who cried wolf. Go check out the story if you're not familiar. It's a kid's little story. That might be significant, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who's very childlike. Somebody who, when the crap hits the fan, oh, now I'm the victim. Oh, it's because of. There's always an excuse. Sorry to do that voice. That could be significant, okay? You could, be, regardless of who you're dealing with, masculine, feminine, it could be that when something happens, there's always a oh, it's because of, or oh, you know, they did this to me, they stopped talking to me because, but meanwhile, they don't, they don't really go into the fact that they cried wolf and they needed nothing, or they did X, Y, Z, which resulted in Pisces doing A, B, C, or whatever letter of the alphabet that you want to touch on, okay, you're dealing with that type of person, and it's not going how they expected it to go, okay, with the storm, unexpected, and wish fulfillment in the reverse, whatever action that this person was taking to kind of get people on their side, or cry wolf, whatever this is, okay, this is a person who's realizing that no, they need to just stand up and 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 take it on the chin, mate. Take it on the chin. This is what's happening here. We're gonna get you some tarot. I'm invested. I want to know what this is, okay? I want to know what this is for Pisces. Let's grab you some cards. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? What do I feel drawn to pull? Let's go with this, the modern witch tarot. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a water sign like yourself. I think I said that. Um, or a fire sign here. A Libra. Air sign. Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius. Why did I say so? Why did I like that? <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. If you can't laugh at yourself, what are we doing in this lifetime? got to find the humor in things let's do this pisces yeah you could be dealing with an air sign page of swords you see that watching energy that spying energy i do feel like you were spying on someone pisces and i do believe it is you this person could be watching you as well seeing what you do watching your moves here they could be a little bit worried somehow this person could be up at night realizing that something isn't working for them the victim role doesn't is, is not washing okay it just doesn't wash as they say let's do this Pisces spirit please guide and protect me I don't think I did, did the prayer spirit please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Pisces needs to know please and thank you let's see you've got the death card in the reverse we have the king of cups we have the Ace of Cups. Some of you have got new love coming in, okay? We're going to get into this. We've got the Temperance card. We've got the um, Three of Wands in the reverse. It's not working anymore. Something's not working for someone anymore. The Five of Cups. Mm, okay. The Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck with the King of Cups. Some of you could definitely be getting into a new connection. Could be with another water sign, okay? But I do feel like you've got someone else in your energy here that I'm picking up on. Get me two more. The star in the reverse. And get me one more for that star in the reverse. The world in the reverse. Mm. 
Bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Some of you are going to be getting into a new commitment. If you are single, I see you dibbling and dabbling in a new connection. Okay. I see somebody possibly going from being single, like a Pringle, to being committed or having, yeah, having a, a person here. Um, Pisces, you could be dealing with somebody who feels extremely insecure with about their situation, about their circumstances. Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. This could be somebody who's going through some sort of loss. Um, they could be going through poor health as well. Um, but this is down, it, it's kind of like through actions of their own with the Seven of Swords. Um, this is somebody who could have presented you with an offer in the past. We're going to get into this on the spread this is underneath the deck here we've got the ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles this could have been somebody who presented something bigger than what they could actually offer this is a talker this is somebody who possibly you know lays it on thick i'm gonna take you to disneyland i'm gonna you know make your world into disneyland or whatever it is i'm gonna do xyz and when it came down to the punch you know it, it they couldn't deliver okay and this person is is going through some sort of instability there's something about um them not feeling stable okay they don't feel stable this person could be codependent this could be a person who can only function when somebody else is connected to them as well this could have been a past person that you dealt with some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius some of you could be dealing with a scorpio a strong scorpio aquarius energy is here Something isn't working for an individual anymore who you're dealing with. The, with the death card in the reverse, somebody has kind of, does the same thing. They do the same thing over and over, okay? Hamster wheel energy with the three of wands. This is someone who is kind of stuck, okay? They do the same thing. They could be very resistant to change. They don't like change as well, Pisces. And this is kind of um, restricting, restricting this person. And this person's realizing that they're getting frustrated because whatever way of doing things in the past is not actually working. Um, I feel like spirit, higher power, God, whoever it is that you believe in, is actually trying to um, shake this person out of this, um, kind of realign them onto into a new way of being, okay? But I do feel like this person could be stuck in some sort of previous cycle or a cycle that where they're not learning the lesson, okay? I feel like you've got somebody here um, sad, okay? This person may front as if they're not. This could be a person who kind of... Um, wears a smile this could be a person who plays a good role of being okay you know with the five of cups this person could be upset that you are exploring options or you're going to be having a new option here i do feel like pisces you have given up on this person who is in this energy this person who does the same thing and nothing changes with the star in the reverse i feel like there's hope lost in a situation i don't feel like you view this person as a viable option anymore but this person still feels like they want to keep some sort of cycle open with you. They feel something is not done. Take it as it resonates. Um, there's a lot of sadness here because I do feel like this person is worried that you have a new opportunity. OK, maybe you're not as invested and this person can feel this energy from you, Pisces. This person regards you as a sense of like a haven. This person regards you as very patient, somebody who's very compassionate towards them, somebody who has given a lot to them emotionally. And I do feel like to some degree that is um, that is stability, that is emotional, like an emotional crutch, if you like. This person could be heavily codependent emotionally. With the temperance energy, there's an energy of them feeling at peace around you. There's something about your energy, Pisces, that balances this person's emotions out. And it could be how caring you are. You could have been very patient, very, um, you, lis you listened. Maybe this person doesn't have, I'm hearing you listened. Maybe this person doesn't have people in their energy to really vent to or to go to or to support them. And for some reason, you were that person for this, this individual here. But I do feel like there's something that you're tired of possibly and there's something that you're closing off to. And it could be because something else has got your attention, some sort of new opportunity. Tell me about 
this King of Cups. And the Temperance. The Four of Wands in the reverse. You could have helped this person. This person could have been going through home issues, issues within a home. Um, this could have been this could have been to do with family. The seven of wands in the reverse. This person could have been in some sort of hopeless energy where they felt like, you know, they were losing their will somehow or something was pointless in a situation that they were in that was separate from you. Again, I feel like you was a safe haven. I feel like this person felt like they could escape to you somehow with the four of wands in the reverse. This is definitely a person who is not, um, is not new to instability. I feel like this person has a um has a instability thing in their life whether that's where they come from the home that they were born from you know who raised them something like that was off balance here they could have been experiencing some sort of um loss of a home as well the lovers could be a gemini this is definitely somebody who you connected with on a soul level this is a soulmate energy we encounter many soulmates you know um doesn't have to be romantic either um but i am getting a romantic vibe with the king of cups and the lovers card um you felt very connected to this person and them you as well the seven of swords in the reverse you could know that this person is um, with the Seven of Swords in the reverse, the Five of Swords. How can I put this? You could have known that this person wasn't an angel. Now, no one is perfect out here. I'm not perfect. I will be the first person to put my hands up and express every single fault that I have. OK, and it's something that makes me very self-assured. OK, Um and it's 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 needed it's needed okay if you can't see your faults you're ignorant okay um with the seven of swords in the reverse and the five of swords this person you possibly knew that this person wasn't the most genuine maybe you watched this person lie you watched this person kind of talk about other people there was something low vibrational that you knew about this person maybe this person came from a destructive household um, where they could have confided in you about stuff they had done, things that weren't the best. There was something about a level of honesty that you connected to this person on. You knew that they had skeletons. You knew that they possibly hadn't moved with integrity. Maybe this person had a track record. Maybe they had a criminal record that you knew about. There's something about this person's behaviour, their past, something about how honesty, you know, lies, things that they had done, things that weren't the best. You knew this about this person, but you still provided a listening ear. You still was there for this person. There was an element of you feeling as though, you know, you wanted to support this person. That's what I'm getting. Very specific. Ace of Swords, yeah. You, you, you had clarity on who this person was, okay? You didn't go into the situation blind. You kind of knew what they were about, okay? Um, you possibly didn't expect that person to do that to you, okay, I'll make that clear, but you knew that this person wasn't a sheep, you, you know that this person is not meek and mild, okay, the death card in the reverse, um, we've got the two of wands, we've got the seven of wands, and we've got the magician in the card, the, the magician in the card, magician in the reverse, with the queen of pentacles, you were an uh, you were stability to this person. I don't know if you realize it or not. You were somebody who they look up to, somebody who they look to. They admire who you are. They admire your nurture. And I feel like that's one of the reasons as to why this person was attracted to your energy, Pisces. You have someone here who often kind of does things, manipulates things. And it's like when they get found out, there's a guard that goes up or no, I didn't say that or I didn't do that. There's somebody who doesn't take accountability. They, they don't take accountability and there's manipulation here with the magician in the reverse. This person is in some sort of cycle of doing the same thing. 
and they choose this with the two of wands this is somebody who kind of chooses to live in this way i feel like there's a comfortability i feel like there's a conditioning this person has lived like this so it's very hard to shake out of that way as i say that the chariot card talks about movement forward this person's stuck on how to progress there's some sort of cycle same way of doing something that this person does over and over and over again and it's stopping them from moving forward it's stopping them from ascending yeah the eight of swords is in the reverse this is somebody who wants to get unstuck but they have to change how they are their behavior the way that they carry themselves something that they're doing the high priestess that's your energy The hermit in the reverse. They could have tried to trick you somehow, Pisces, or do something to you where they thought that you wouldn't catch on. This person possibly felt like you were vulnerable, not vulnerable, naive, or your kindness for weakness more so. Not really naive, because I, I do feel like this person regards you as somebody who is more established than them kind of a little bit emotionally evolved in them and with the hermit in the reverse and the five of cups this is somebody who's regretful that they tried to play something play the same thing that they do to others that you know of them to do this person could have done that on you because you opened up to them like you you were a haven for this person this is very specific i don't know if this is not going to make sense to everyone um with the high priestess i feel like they had you effed up you know they possibly felt like you wasn't tapped in but you are the high priestess that's pisces energy because you knew who this this was from the from the jump maybe they felt like they were blindsiding you you knew who they were from the jump seven of swords is in the reverse yeah the knight of cups you possibly saw this person as disingenuous maybe you sat in rooms where this person would be talking about an individual they will get up and go to the bathroom talking to an individual sorry with you in the room this person will go to the bathroom and as soon as they go to the bathroom they're talking about did you see their hair or did you see what shoes they were wearing or did you see xyz this person likes to do that this is somebody who can't help themselves and you knew who this was this i can't stress that enough there's something about you knowing knowing who this was but there's something also about you wanting to move away from this energy as well tell me about the star in the reverse we might run over time. The emperor in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you view someone as extremely um, controlling. This could be somebody who's mean, somebody who is a tyrant, somebody who doesn't have boundaries as well. Um, there's definitely somebody, could be an Aries, that you are no longer seeing them as a viable option. This could be a father as well. Somebody who has children, doesn't have to be. The hierophant in the reverse yeah this is somebody with yeah very warped values their value base is 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 very muddled here queen of wands definitely could be a fire sign i feel like you're rising above above something here and i feel like you're actually recognizing that something isn't for you it's not aligned with where you want to be or where you want to go moving forward and i feel like you are detaching from someone with the wheel of fortune being here there's a change here pisces tell me about the ace of cups The six of swords a lot of you are moving on the judgment in the reverse somebody feels like you moving on and choosing happiness with the sun card could be a leo is some sort of harsh judgment on them they're offended with the judgment in the reverse that you want better or that you're moving on to new it's not to say you're cutting this person off the hanged one in the reverse it's not to say you see someone for who they are like it's like this person could have turned on you, Pisces, and you're like, right, I'm not going to put up with this. I knew who you was, but I actually was supporting you. This definitely could be a friend or someone. I was supporting you. It could be a Taurus, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Fire Sign, Leo specifically, Leo or Aries. I was supporting you, but now you're turning on me and you're being manipulative to me. You're trying to lie to me. You're trying to, you know... Um, act as though 
I'm my kindness is some sort of um weakness now it's like now this person is regretful and they feel like it's harsh harsh judgment of you moving away from them because of it you were prepared to support this person but you weren't prepared to put up with that treatment towards you something like that the world and the universe. the king of wands definitely could be dealing with a fire sign this is a person who is very attracted to you this is definitely a person who it, they will do anything to still be connected to you the seven of pentacles in the reverse this is somebody who knows you're losing interest you're losing interest the page of swords and this is why they watch you they watch you now it's like the tables have turned they're very attracted to you but this is somebody someone who feels like you're losing interest meanwhile they are still interested in you with the world card if you said hi how you doing let's open up this cycle again this person will jump at the, tr the chance they will pull their trousers down whatever they're very attracted to you i'm getting that strongly here could be a leo strong fire sign this is somebody who views you as a counterpart only I don't feel like you align. I feel like there's somebody here who is very misaligned with, with their morals, you know, their integrity towards people. And there's someone here who is kind of moving into a new energy, realizing that having somebody connected to them that is like this possibly isn't the best for them, even if it is just to support them. It's like co-signing somebody's behavior if you stay connected to this person. That's what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting, Pisces. And I feel like this person is definitely playing the victim. Let's get you some closing messages. The lovers. I do feel like you've got another option in love here. I do. That you're going to be embarking on the four of pentacles. This person holds on to. You see that soulmate connection? That energy? They're holding on to you, the five of cups, because they're sad, they're regretful. It's like, now I've turned on my Pisces, um, what am I going to do now? The Knight of Wands. The Tower, yeah. You moving on into another direction is kind of like, breaking this person down i'll be honest with you we already had the storm energy and the tower has come out could be a scorpio let's see what this is the five of pentacles and the fall and the death card wow bottom of the deck definitely could be dealing with a scorpio you are moving on to the new the page of pentacles a lot of you have got a new opportunity that you're very fired up about could be a new lover earth sign energy capricorn virgo taurus we have gemini here Somebody feels left out in the cold and this is like, it's, it's ripping their world apart. This could be somebody who's definitely playing the victim, as I say. Somebody could be talking to other people saying how, oh, Pisces left me. I am sad because Pisces did X, Y, Z. But what did you do to Pisces for Pisces to step into the energy of feeling as though they needed to disconnect from you? Take accountability. And this person doesn't do this. Okay, this person feels left out of your energy because you're having this new beginning and you have put your foot down Pisces the death card is here something is over for you but it's not over for them with that world card in the reverse you've got someone holding on to your energy gripping on for dear life to your energy and now it's like oh Pisces is the bad guy Pisces is the villain Pisces is leaving me here in my pool of disappointment but they bit the hand that fed them they bit the hand that fed them Pisces and now for you it's over you're moving on to greener pastures you want a new beginning you don't want this energy that is attached to this person because what you're realizing Pisces is it's rubbing off on you who you are and you don't want to be that person Pisces, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Happy Easter weekend. I hope that you enjoy it with your loved ones. But until next time, Pisces, I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.